Hello everybody, I am Sim vs. Game, as you all may or may not know, and I just woke up today to find out that so many new cards are going to be released on the Global coming tonight. Now, I really, really recommend you summon for Ultra Instinct Goku, because uh, if you go ahead and look at him here, uh, he does have a Realm of Gods category key, and this category is going to be a 120 lead for... Uh, the any uh, character that is God or is like Super Saiyan Blues, if you know what I'm sort of getting on, and uh, well, Vegito Blue is technically a Super Saiyan Blue, so whoever gets this card, congrats! <laughs> and I'm gonna be very salty because I haven't been able to pull any cards as of recent. So there you go. There's that, and. Uh, if we take a look here, uh, his passive is 70 attack and defense plus 70%, uh, plus an additional plus 3 key and 70 attack, high chance to evade enemies for 7 turns when HP is below 50%. Now that is also important if you're going to be taking him on a defense team. It will be very nice to have him with a Vegito Blue LR, so yeah, keep that in mind when you're summoning for him but still this is a really good person to get with your LR Vegeta Blue so uh, along with that if we look here uh, we, we got all these categories coming out and uh, battle categories battlefield awakenings I believe they're called and uh, yeah let's go ahead and take a quick look at those uh, right here we got a metal cooler uh, it, all types key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 20% if you don't have a good leader already, this would be an okay one for you. Uh, his passive attack plus 30% for all allies at extreme type key plus 2. Alright, I can see how some people would have this in their team for some attack bonus. Uh, right, finally, our Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta AGL will be awakening. And uh, his passive is pretty decent attack and defense plus 90% when HP is is 80% or below. So that is actually like really good. If you can get a little bit of damage done onto you a little bit early on, then you'll have a big attack boost to, with all your cards. So uh, make sure you awaken this guy because it, it'll be worth it. Oh, he's blue now. Hey, so right here we have our Majin Buu, our Extreme Majin Buu. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at his passive skill again. Not the best one, but still. Uh, attack plus 18,000 when HP is 99% or below. <laughs> so you, this won't work as your like starting attack, but you have to make sure you get hit at least once before using this passive. I don't really think it's a good card, honestly. I might still awaken him, who knows. Uh, we also got our Nova Shenron here. Uh, again, tech type key. Uh, true form revealed, a key plus 3, and attack plus 90% when facing only one enemy. Uh, again, it's an okay card. I would not recommend putting him on a team, but you know, if you don't have anything else to put on your team, Yes, I would recommend it. He also does have the GT link right here, so yeah. Here we go. Uh, I really was waiting for these boys. Uh, Fusion Android 13. Uh, if we go ahead and take a look here. Uh, okay, yeah, that's a lot. Uh, key plus 4 and attack plus 70% when the key is more than 8. Now, that is actually like really, really good if you can get him above 8 key because he, gets, he gives everyone that he's linked with 4 key and then plus 70% attack. That's actually like pretty good, pretty decent passive. And uh, it's tech strength and physical type key plus 40% and uh, yeah. So this is actually a really good physical Goku. Uh, if you can, awaken him because uh, he has a big chance to stun. Uh, causes supreme damage and a high chance to stun an enemy. That is like actually really good high chance uh, Remember that uh, attack plus 
10,000 and defense plus 5,000 on one HP is 50% or above. So he is a small bit of a tank. Not really a tank, but you know, I would allow it. I would allow him to be on my team if I was running a super physical team. So, yeah. So here's another good uh, leader. Uh, he, he's a good leader if you uh, are running you know, like super battle road or something like that. Uh, tech type enemy attack minus 43%. Now, yeah, it's really only good if you're running against, or like a tech event, I guess you could say. Uh, changes tech key to Rainbow Spheres key and uh, attack plus 50%. Eh, it's an okay passive. Uh, I, I wouldn't personally put him on 18, but, you know, it works, it works. There we go. And I already showed this off. So, uh, let's go ahead and take a look through one last time real quick. These are all of the cards that are coming out. So, and uh, this also, I'm, now that I'm looking more at the super attacks, uh, he raises, uh, Kankus calls supreme damage, raises attack for three turns. I don't know how much attack it'll gain, but... Who knows? Alright. So, raises attack for three turns. It looks like a lot of these raises attack for three turns. This one lowers defense. Right here, this guy causes supreme damage, stuns, and uh, yeah, lowers defense. Alright, so once again, we want to make sure that we go for this guard, Goku Ultra Instinct, because, well, again, you better keep saying this. Uh, one, he's a great dodger. If your HP is below 50%, he will be good on your team. Either way, he'll be good as a leader on your team. If you do have a lot of Super Saiyan gods, blues, whatever you want to call them. I know I have quite a few myself. So, yeah. Uh, it's it's really good card in general. Uh, it, it is only a 100%, like a level 100. So... Now, I don't think it's going to get an awakening anytime soon. Uh, keep that in mind when uh, pulling for him. And if you do get him, make sure you get that uh, LR Vegito Blue awakened. Because that is going to be one overpowered card with all that defense already adding on top of that. Look at this. Category key. So, Let's go ahead and like take a look at his defense real quick. Uh, if we go, let me go ahead and see if I can find him real quick. He already has insane defense. If we go ahead and I'm trying to find him here. That's the way to find him. <laughs> okay, here he is. Still no picture in the game, but if we go ahead and take a look at his passive. Uh, every time he does a super attack, I believe it is, uh, attack and defense plus 60%. So if we have that on his team, that'll be attack and defense plus 180% and HP. So HP is going to be also up. So, Oh boy, that is one crazy leader. Uh, if we go ahead and take a look real quick between their leagues. I don't think they share anything together. No, they did not. Probably Samori race. No, he doesn't even have Samori. Wow. Okay. It's not expecting that. So, uh, please, please make sure you guys summon on him. I cannot repeat this enough. It's really a card. And uh, yeah, there's nothing uh, so far else announced. If we go ahead, and just take a quick look at the schedule again. These are all the cards that are coming out. Let me just. There we go. These are all the cards that are going to be coming out. I will be doing a stream probably later tonight talking about all the uh, new stuff that's coming out for Global. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, just one last thing before we go here. Uh, even if you have a super intelligence guy, this guy would also be pretty good. So... I like I I would not know why people would not go for this card. This is basically I'm guessing Bandai's Christmas gift. Let this card category out. Put Vegito in it. 
and then also at the same time you can sort of like uh, give us our actual LR of the Dino Blue because that has been what we were sort of waiting for for a long time and uh, this will be like the ultimate Christmas gift which is probably weird wait as we wait for the global shaft to stop because it's starting to get annoying at this point and uh, yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon to let you know every time that I go live and uh, yeah I guess I'll see you guys next time but until then bye bye